In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the hook L and R open, PCB mecha sensor assembly, head frame assembly, ribbon winding assembly, auto cutter unit, platen roller, and how to install the head cushion. Okay, first we're going to do the hook L and R open. First, move the scrap box and we'll remove the front cover. Next, we'll go ahead and remove this one screw from the hook L open. This just slides off. So for the right side, we'll go ahead and remove this spring. Now you can slide the shaft over to the right to get access to the screw for the hook R open. And then slide it off. Okay. Now we'll put the hook R and L back on. We'll start with the right side. I'll slide the shaft back over to the left and place the spring back on. And now for the left side. And that's it. Okay, next we're going to do the Mecha Sensor Assembly PCB. We already have the front cover removed. So next we'll want to remove this side panel. Here's our sensor PCB. First we'll want to disconnect all of the harnesses. There's three here. And then four here. Now the board is held on by one screw. and then the board sits on this post so you want to pull the board away from the frame and simultaneously rotate it along this post and now we'll reinstall it. the board so first make sure you get the larger part of the hole around this post and then fit the board in place and rotate it You'll see this other guide pin here, so you know it's lined up correctly. Now hook up all of your connectors.
And after that, just please, as with any PCB replacement, check your sensor voltage values and RX1 tools and make sure that they're correct. Next, we're going to remove the head frame assembly. First, we'll want to remove both of these flat cables and get them out of our way. Next, we're going to remove the power harness for the thermal print head, which is here. And then work it out of this cable retention. Next, we'll need to remove the ribbon sensor harness. And same thing, we'll have to move it out of this cable retention. Once these two are free, we'll move on to moving the, removing the print head flat cables. Now we'll remove the thermal print head flat cables and get those out of our way. Release the locks for the cables. We'll just fold these back here. Okay, next we're going to remove this plate which is connected to the shaft that the head frame rotates on. Okay, next we'll want to come in here and disconnect the spring on the ribbon winding assembly. This is so when we slide the head frame out, we don't accidentally damage one of these ribbon winding gears. Okay, now to remove the head frame, we'll go ahead and disconnect the spring, but be careful because once the spring is removed, the head frame can drop. So now we'll slide it over to the right until the shaft is clear of this hole. Then we'll bring it up. And now once it's we have clearance here, slide it over to the left and then bring it out through the top of the printer. Now we'll install the head frame back into the printer. So once again, we'll come through the top. We'll make sure that our wires are coming through the side over here. Now start to lower the head frame in. Be careful not to scratch the surface of the print head. Then you'll start with inserting the shaft into the slot on the right side first. And then, once you're here, go ahead and continue sliding it over to the right. And then, slide the left side of the shaft into the slot. And then still make sure you hold on to the head frame because our spring is not connected yet. So connect the spring here to the head frame. Then using a spring tool, coming through this slot, grab the other end of the spring and connect it to the frame here. Okay, next we're going to put this plate back on. 
we want to make sure that the flat part of the shaft here is facing towards the front of the printer. Slide the plate on and there's two notches for this positioning. Now we'll spin the printer to the left side and hook our wiring back up. So we want to have these wires go behind these flat cables. So first one will be our ribbon sensors. Make sure it goes through this notch here. Bring it behind the power. And it's going to start here. Then we'll gently pry the plastic cable retention back and put the wires behind it here, 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 and lastly here. We'll plug our ribbon sensors back in. Double check our wires, make, try to make it look as clean as possible. Next will be our thermal print head power. So we'll want to route it in a zigzag pattern through here. And connect. And last, We'll hook our flat cables back and make sure that they're back in their correct place. Okay, last, we'll hook our thermal print head cables up. And then after everything is plugged back in, just make sure you hook the spring back to the ribbon winding assembly here.